Hello everyone, this is Ryan, here on the Ghost Slayers Report, coming to you always from Tokyo, Japan. Now, this video is a bit of a response video to Casabayo's video, which I believe you used a uh, different account this time in your response to a vid I recently made about the anti-nuclear movement must remain peaceful. Now, as always, Casabayo, you give me a lot to think about, and I deeply appreciate your video. Now, the point that, that you made up is that the police in Japan, particularly the Metropolitan Police here in Tokyo, could not actually handle an outbreak of overt aggression or violence by protesters, but would rather like to give the impression that they could or want that to happen. Now before we go any further, we need, we need to make it very clear that peace is the agenda of the anti-nuclear movement and violence is unacceptable. But yet this is a good point to discuss, and Casabayo has brought up a very good point. Now, tactics in the past by the Metropolitan Police here in Tokyo have been to limit access and to frustrate protesters in order to limit numbers. Ever since the massive uh, pouring out into the street by anti-nuclear protesters and the over 100,000 people who were there, the police have taken a policy of zero tolerance towards on-the-street protests and have limited people to the sidewalks. Now this has been frustrating the movement and has reduced numbers slightly. But yet recently, from protests I've been to recently down there in Kasumigaseki, the tactics by the protesters have changed. Now in the past the tactic was to consolidate people right into one massive area near the Prime Minister's office. But this has changed. Now we're seeing more and more factions and more and more groups join the weekly protest Akasumi Gaseki area in, in Tokyo and has defused the centralization of protesters in front of the Prime Minister's office. What you're seeing now is a concerted effort by many different groups coming together in solidarity to rally at different locations in the area. And through the course of the evening, to slowly do their own independent marches at different times to meet finally at near the Prime Minister's office. Now what this has done is to spread the police force thin to, for lack of a better word, throw a monkey wrench in the Metropolitan Police's tactics to frustrate protesters and keep numbers low by limiting access. Now through this tactic, it does two things. Number one, it confuses the police. They don't know where to focus on. And number two, it thins their numbers. Because Tokyo is a very large metropolitan area, and the police cannot send thousands of policemen down there to cover this. They have limited resources. So when you spread them thin, it increases the opportunity for more people to be involved because it increases where people can meet and gain more groups and things like that. Now let's go back to Casabayo's point that the police actually do not want violence 
and it cannot handle it. True. Now, I would believe that the, any police force covering and offering security at any protest action do not want violence at all. And like I said before, the anti-nuclear movement in Japan is strictly peaceful. Now, but I still would like to hold to my point in my video on the anti-nuclear movement must remain peaceful that the police in Tokyo would take advantage of any type of overt aggression or violence which possibly could break out these type of protest. They would surely take advantage of it um, to shut down the protest, number one. And of course, politicians would take advantage of it to demonize the movement and to not pay attention to it. And of course, the media here in Japan would have a field day with it, okay? The demonization in the mass media would be outrageous, okay? So, yeah. Metro Metropolitan Police could not handle a massive outbreak of overt aggression or violence, so they do not want it, but to give the impression that they are prepared for it, yes, they have done that in the past. They have clearly given the impression that they could handle it. Now, whether they can handle that or not depends on how centralized the protests get at different rally points and how I and then I suggest here earlier that recent tactics have been to defuse centralized rally points and have several rally points throughout Kasumigaseki and have the marches start at different points in time. Spread the police thin, which offers increased numbers to show a stronger force. Alright, so I thought this video was worth making because Casabayo has presented very intriguing ideas in the past and it's worth making to give a little bit more detail on what goes on between the protesters and the police so as always I want to thank you very much for watching this and on a side note remember that most of the videos I'm making are available in HD here on YouTube all you have to do is look at the little gearbox at the bottom of the video and you can switch over to high quality HD and enjoy the videos that way. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. You get lots of videos on issues here in Japan, not just nuclear, but others, as well as lots of great protest footage. So until next time, this is me here, Ryan, here in Tokyo, Japan. Checking out.